is going to help focus on external rotation of the femurs or wide knee positions and also helping us find deep hip flexion. If you find that dropping into the bottom of a really deep squat is really uncomfortable for you, sitting down to something can be helpful, such as a yoga block, sitting down to like something underneath the ankles or even down to a chair. Anything that's going to allow you to feel like you can relax into this position. So first we're going to start with the knees wide and we're going to press the two knees apart. Come back in, press the knees apart and then come back in. And then we're just going to focus on one side at a time. So I'm going to hook my elbow here. I'm going to push this leg out and then I'll switch and push the other leg out. The last thing we're going to do is thoracic rotations. Now we have two options for this. One, you can put the hand down and you can open up like this. So reaching down and then reaching up to the ceiling. Option two is going to be with a weight. So this is going to help bring you deeper into the movement and make it a little bit more challenging in the upper body. So we're here and I'm going to think press towards the ceiling and then come back to face forward. Press to the ceiling and then come back to face forward. And so we're going to do 30 seconds for each movement. So it'll be 30 seconds with both legs, 15 per side, 15 per side, and then 15 rotations. So starting with the hands together, we're going to press the knees apart and then allow them to come back in. So we're pressing the knees apart and then come back in and maybe hold at the end for a second or two and then let them come back in. But we're trying to find our deeper external rotation in both hips from a supportive position, either with the block or without the block, whatever is most comfortable for you. Without the block is going to allow you to drop a deeper into it, but you shouldn't be like holding tons of tension at the bottom. So if your heels are not touching the floor, sit down on something. Now we'll switch to one side at a time. So hook the elbow and then press the knee out. Come back in, press the knee out. Just focusing on one side at a time, really feeling that deep external rotation just on one side. And then we'll switch to the other side. So hook the elbow here, placing the hand on the opposite knee. And then we're going to push out, come back in, push out, come back in. So again, just finding that deeper external rotation just on that one side. And coming to our thoracic rotation. So either placing the palm down and opening up, or you can hold the weight. So pressing the weight up or opening up coming back down, pressing the weight up, coming back down, or opening up here. So choose whichever variation feels better for you. Neither is necessarily better than the other. The weight is just going to allow you to move deeper into it. And then we'll switch to the opposite side. So grabbing onto your weight, we're going to press up, come back down, press up, come back down, or you can do the rotation. So just opening up, finding that rotation and twist in the spine and then coming back down. So that's going to conclude the squat therapy. So we have both knees being pressed out, one knee, one knee, and then rotations of your choice.